Are you a military veteran with a VA entitlement but don't know how it works or how to use it? If this is you, stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Chris Medina. I'm a realtor with Remax Time Realty and a local realtor to the city of Chino. If you are new to this YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to my channel where I put out weekly videos on free tips, whether you're buying or selling real estate. In today's video, I'm going to interview Ian Karnokin from Homebridge Loans, and we're going to be talking about the most common questions we get from our veterans regarding the VA loans. Please stay tuned to the end of the video and I will let you know where you can get a free copy of the VA loan guideline. All right, so here we are we're sitting here next to Ian Karnakin with Homebridge Financial. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the most common questions I get from military veterans regarding VA loans. So Ian, tell us a little bit about yourself. I've been in the mortgage industry for about 30 years now. Um, I have, my very first loan coincidentally was a VA loan. All right, Ian, so one of the first questions I have here for you is, what benefits do VA loans offer for, for veterans? Well, um, there's quite a few. Um, the obvious one that isn't always obvious is it's a zero down payment and it's truly zero. However, if you are purchasing a home over the county loan limit, there is a down payment requirement. There's no mortgage insurance. Um, and with zero down and no mortgage insurance, that makes VA financing just very, very, very attractive. Um, it's also incredibly flexible. Um, and we'll probably have to dive into the flexibility of a VA loan um, in other installments, but um, those are some of the three, I would say the most poignant reasons to use VA financing. Now here's another question I get. So some people already know that it's zero down, but they believe also that the closing costs are included with the zero, the zero down. Do they have to come in with the closing cost money? They can. In the past, VA has gone through lots of um, changes over the years. And in the past, the seller had to pay all of the closing costs. However, they've made lots of changes with the program and lots of different gyrations, but now the buyer can bring in all the closing costs. However, um, it's not uncommon for a buyer to request that the seller pay everything. In addition to that, the seller can actually even pay off some of the borrower, the veteran borrower's debt to help them qualify. I know, that sounds crazy. Now, other ways that they can get this money is through a gift, 401k. Yep. Gift, 401k, any access, any normal accessible source for a down payment um, that you would see in a normal transaction, a gift. You just have to document that they're, you know, the, where the gift is coming from and the relationship. They can have a 401k loan, which we will not be using the debt. I'm pretty sure with VA, we don't um, hit them with the payment uh, from the 401k loan. They can use money of their own, their own money. If they sell something, as long as we can document, document that property, that can be done as well. And the government grants, different assistance programs that are compliant with VA financing, you can also use all of those sources. Another question is, since they have to come in with the closing costs, what's a rule of thumb on how much money they need to come up with? The closing costs are not going to be any more than a normal transaction. So everyone, you know, uses two to three percent and that's about right. So it's two to three percent of the purchase price. Correct. Right? Correct. So another question is who pays for home inspections and home appraisals? With a VA transaction, the home inspection is paid for by the borrower, just like most other transactions. The appraisal is paid for by the buyer. In a normal real estate transaction in California, we know that we don't have to have a termite report in the transaction um, like we did 10 years ago. However, with VA financing, you always have to have a clear termite, no doubt about it. So what ends up happening is, is that it gets forgotten and at the last minute, the loan goes into underwriting, underwriter conditions for it, the lender calls out the conditions and then everyone's screaming and hollering because, well, I thought we didn't need a termite. Well, with VA, you absolutely have to have a clear termite report. So here's another question in the end. What credit score does somebody need to have in order to qualify for a VA loan? The lowest credit score we can do at Homebridge is this 550 credit score. However, 
VA will make exceptions based on certain circumstances that the veteran borrower may be going through. We're here to help. So if there's something affecting a person's credit score that is inaccurate, there are ways for us to underwrite the loan manually where we can document the inaccuracy and get beyond the credit score requirement. However, the problem is we can approve the loan and we can say, hey, we've got your loan approved. It's the secondary markets that make the interest rate and the cost incredibly expensive that don't have that same component as we do. So it's a complicated question, but it can be done um, to so make it simple. So it varies from person to person? Very much right. so. Okay. Another question is who can get a VA loan? The person that's going to have VA benefits is going to be the guy or the gal who spends their, you know, their enlistment in the service, either the Coast Guard, the Air Force, the uh, Marines, or the Army, um, and also National Guardsmen. They all have um, different levels of what it takes for them to qualify, but your normal military, once they're done with their enlistment, they're going to qualify for VA financing, along with all the other benefits that it amazes me that most of them don't really know what how wonderful it is, um, what the benefits are. Just the VA financing itself is the gateway to an incredible opportunity, especially if you buy a house in a market like California. Now, would you say a VA loan is easier than your regular type of, you know, FHA loan, a conventional loan? It's a lot easier because, in my eyes, it's just math. Um, their debt ratio requirement is higher than a conventional loan. Um, you don't have to fiddle around with documenting the borrower's source of funds if they're not coming in with any money, if the seller's paying all their costs. So there's lots of little things with the VA loan that a guy like me who's creative can, little problems that we can overcome just by understanding how the program works. So it gives me more to work with than a conventional loan. Okay. Much more. Now, another question here for you. How many times can you use a VA loan? They can use it indefinitely but each time they use it, they have what's called a funding fee. Now, if you were separated from service with an injury or a disability, you will be exempt from this fee, right? Mm -hmm. So that's something that you need to know. Now, if you have not been separated with a disability, then you will pay um, at the first time you buy a home, it's 2.3%. Now, in 2020, in 2000, 19, it was 2.15%. So now on a $400,000 $400, house, that's $10,400. Well, that gets financed on top of your sales price because there's no down payment. So what that money does, it goes right back into the system to fund other loans. So each time you buy a home, you're kind of paying back into the system. And each time you use that funding fee, it goes up. Well, let me ask you this. Say you were a veteran, you have your primary home of residence in South Carolina. Okay. You want to move to California and use a VA loan here. Mm -hmm. Is that possible? Yes and no. <laughs> you can't have more than one VA loan at a time. However, the amount of eligibility that you have changes. So let's say that you bought a house in South Carolina using your VA, VA eligibility. And for whatever reason you put 20% down, your amount of your eligibility that was tied up in that house is probably almost entirely intact. Then you can do another VA loan and use that entitlement on this one. I have, in 30 years, I have been able to do two VA loans at a time twice. And one of them was when a veteran had bought their house years and years and years and years prior and had been, it was almost paid off. So they had paid back most of their eligibility and they had a very small down payment on the new home. And the reason we did it was not for the down payment reason. There's lots of other reasons to go through VA financing, not just the down payment. Sometimes it's just, it's, it's a hot lightsaber through butter where a conventional or FHA loan would just be a slog. So okay. there's other things to consider. And the, um, the other thing, if you have, a lot of veterans are married to veterans, so you can have dual eligibility. 
where you mm -hmm. only use a portion of each other's eligibility. So you can have more than one DA. Wow. So it's a complicated answer, yeah. but it was one that, that once I, I could talk to a person on the phone for five minutes and know exactly what the answer would be. Awesome. All right, so one last question. Mm -hmm. So you have a veteran right now that's ready to buy, doesn't know what to do, what to bring. What is it that they need to bring to you in order to see what they qualify for? So the things that a person would need to bring to me, well, first off, when I talk to veterans who are getting ready to separate or are recently separated, a lot of them think, and this is the common misconception, you do not need to be on your job for two years. No, you do not. However, you do need to be employed. Now, my job is to determine if your military service is correlated to what you're doing now, because it changes things a little bit. However, the fact that you were working a job for four years and now you're working at Carl's Jr., that's fine with me. We can use that income. As long as that income's enough to qualify, you're good. So what you would bring me is your most recent 30 days worth of pay stubs and your tax returns for the last two years. So, so far, pay stubs, tax returns, any, any yeah, military your documents? Your DD-214 would be great to have, but nowadays we can pull that stuff up on the computer. It's easy schmeasy. All right, so one last question, Ian, is what type of properties are they eligible for? The types of homes that you can do VA financing are your traditional stick-built, single-family residence, condominiums, PUDs, townhomes, modular homes, um, not trailers, not mobile homes. In the past, people have assumed that you couldn't buy a, a home with VA financing if it was distressed or beat up a little bit. It's not true. Now VA offers, and we offer, um, a program, a VA renovation program, where you can buy a house. A that's, fixer upper. Yeah, a fixer upper that's had its teeth kicked in a little bit and we'll give you the money to do the repairs. All right, Ian, so thanks for all the information you provided here today. Now, if somebody wanted to reach out to you, uh, contact you with more questions, where and how can they reach you? Just call me on my cell. I am neurotic about answering my phone. Again, uh, my name is Ian Karnakin with Homebridge Financial. My number is my phone number is 909-721-8389. I've done this for 30 years in encapsulating my feelings about VA financing, I would rather do a VA loan than any other loan, regardless of the loan size. I want to thank you guys for your service and most of you, welcome home. Awesome. I want to thank you for the information too. All right guys, that's it for this video and I will see you guys on the next video. All right guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little long. It could have been longer because there's so many things that go into the VA entitlement. But as usual, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to make a comment below, email, call, or text. And if you go to my website, www.christianmedinarealtor.com, you can download your free copy of the VA Buyer's Guideline. And once again, I'll see you guys on the next video.